<laughs> hey guys, I would like to show you something. I have a bunch of pots and bowls here. They are of various sizes. And it took me weeks or maybe even months of not so actively trying to gather all of them. Some of them I have bought as recently as yesterday. So I think it's time for a flashback. One of the things we look forward to in the weekend is the weekend markets. <laughs> We're at the markets today. Lots of people. Lots of stuff. The nice thing about these markets is that there's also lots of plants here. So there's lots, there's several stalls selling plants. But unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, I'm not here for plants, I'm here for pots. So I'm going to have a look around and hopefully I find some. Got, I got three pots. I also managed to score a couple of bowls. This is Zach's favorite area. The aquariums. Right? Zach, where's the fish? Fish! Yeah, you like that? So here's the five pots that I bought today. I'm really happy with my purchase. Totally worth it, man. Now that we're doing flashbacks, I might as well show you what else I did yesterday. I'm heading out again today. You could try guessing where I'm going. The first three guesses don't count. And give you a clue. It starts with the B and ends with Anings. So that's where I'm going. I basically just need to get a few more, well not few, several more metal posts because we are also working on the shade for my, my mother-in-law's uh, veggie patch and flowers. Because so far my, my shade structure has proven quite uh, sturdy and durable so I'm going to do the same for her plants so let's go I'm finally in the Bunnings car park this is one of the five Bunnings stores that I, I can get to within 15 to 20 minutes of driving so I'm lucky so let's head right in of course I'm going to have the obligatory succulents view and right now, nothing really pops out my attention because most of these things I've already got. I like the Rechevarias though. They've got some nice ones today. Not bad. Not bad overall. I can't find the same ones that I bought last time. Maybe I'll have to go to the next Bunnings. I'm in the car park of the second Bunnings now and I hope I find the stakes here.
This is cool. Of course, I have to visit the succulent section again. Not much different from the previous one, except they have more of the arrangements and the larger, larger specimens here. These verbenas remind me of umbrella corp. And I found them 1.8 meter T posts at 650. So I need 10 of these. I've got the stakes and they're right here. So it's time for me to go home. I've got all 10 here now. I'm going to take a quick break and I'm going to set this up later this afternoon. Having bought the stakes, I'm now going to drive them in the ground. So a few episodes ago, I've shown you how I created the shade structure for my area of neglect. And today what I'll be working on are the other areas around the fence. So I'll be creating shade structures over the vegetable gardens that my mother-in-law is working on. Right now the structures that we have here are flimsy because as you can see the materials, the posts are bending and the wooden stakes are not holding well. So this could be easily teared down by the wind. It's pretty much the same as the story for three little pigs. So the first one built a house out of straw. The second built a house out of sticks. The third out of bricks. But in my case, I'm not using bricks. I'm using metal. So as before, the first step would be digging all the holes that I need. So I'm creating pilot holes using my power planter. And after that, I'll be driving the metal stakes into the ground. I think this will take up the whole afternoon, or at least the rest of the day, because right now it's already 5 p.m. So I think this will take me about an hour or so. I, I still have enough daylight, because it's DST now, so let's get right to it. Just to save on materials, ex especially the metal posts, I'm going to continue, continue building off of my existing structure. So I'll connect it, make it as one piece. This way I could reduce the number of posts that I would need to install. Well, a stupid me forgot to recharge the batteries of my DeWalt. So, I'm back to low-tech digging bar.
I still have three leftover posts. Maybe I could use them somewhere else. I should probably use some of them in this area. So yeah, that's what I've been up to yesterday. Now, on to what I plan to do with them. So ultimately, what I'm trying to do is to prepare for this spot. So this is an arc within the landscape. I'm thinking of redoing this arc. Because in the past, I had lots of echeverias on the ground right here. Some of them rotted due to fungal infections. So I need to fix up this area. My plan for this area is to elevate the soil, and gather more volcanic rocks, so such as you know, rocks like this one. I'll be using these rocks to edge around the arc, so that's how I would raise them. I also intend to use the pots and bowls that I got and include them in the design. So partially sunken bowls. This way the elevated bowls and the sunken bowls would mean that there would be very less chance for the plants to rot, to keep wet, since, especially since I'm using terracotta. So as you know, that stuff breeds. So as you can see, I have various sizes and types of bowls and pots. Most of them are terracotta. I think these two are sealed, but I'll have to check. I don't think they're sealed, but anyway. This one, this one is made of hard plastic, but it looks like terracotta. Or at least the color is similar to clay. Ooh, I forgot. I have one more here. So, so far I've got eight different types of pots and bowls and the thing that struck me was that so as you can see I have this type of bowl again and you might remember in my previous landscapes that I have uh, I've been using bowls such as these and it reminds me that I have I have a few more bowls elsewhere that I can use so let me just look for them so there's one here which I'm using for my for one of my aloes. I could probably transfer the aloe elsewhere. Uh, so that way I could use this pot. There's a small part of me that's thinking of swapping out this bowl with something smaller. But I think I might leave it like this because I like how proportional its size is compared to the design. So something smaller will make it less prominent and I think that's no good. But in any case, I'll be using most of summer to think about the design here. So I have a few months and within those few months I'll also use some of the time to gather the rocks. So I'll be hitting up Gumtree or Facebook Marketplace to see if I can score some free ones. Because that's where I got most of my rocks before. And just so you know how the bowls look like in the landscape, here's a couple of the same type of bowls that I've used before. I really like how they blend with the soil. They are earth colored and they really make nice complement to the soil. They don't contrast too much. You know, it, depending on your design, it might be something desirable. It's orange so it pops out against some of the warmer the warmer hued plants. But it's not 
it doesn't scream too much for attention unlike uh, glazed pots which are usually brightly colored so it totally depends on your design since I work on a rock garden I like it to look uh, not too overly artificial so still looks a bit natural at least colors wise and that's what I'm after mainly if you enjoy this video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel to get more videos like this if you have any suggestions for the design of the arc I would be happy to hear them because I would be thinking about it over the next few weeks you might also want to check out my Facebook at Series Capades because I might be posting my sketches, posting my design sketches there. And when I do, please provide your feedback. Let me know what you think because you might have better ideas. Likewise, if you're after photos, you might also want to check out my Instagram because I do post po photos once in a while. And to keep up to date, I usually have announcements of new videos and updated playlists in my Twitter account so you could follow me Twitter at Series Capades. Hopefully we get working on that design soon and I hope we get we come up with something really nice. Stay tuned for future videos for more developments about it. See ya!